so everyone's sitting crisscross applesauce with their journals closed, closed in their lap, facing the board. Okay, facing the board. Thank you. Okay, who would like to read my essential question that's on the board? Gavin, how can I record, record and analyze data? Excellent. How can I record and analyze data? <coughs> so, what are the ways we've learned so far? Give me one, Gavin. Tally charts, give me one. Line pods. Line pods, give me one. Picture graphs. Picture graphs, give me one. Bye, guys. Excellent. So we've learned four ways. And we've talked about how we record and analyze in most of those ways, but we haven't spent much time on line plots. So our last lesson of this chapter is going to be about analyzing line plots. Okay? So we're on our last lesson. We are on our last lesson. Oh, yeah. Sure. It was a short chapter, wasn't it? Okay. So, let's practice what we learned yesterday. I think we need a little bit more practice. Because line plots are a little little challenging, don't you think? I think they're the hardest way we've learned so far. Yeah, because you got to make sure X is the exact same. Yeah, because sometimes that's tricky. Okay, so it tells us, use a tally chart to make a line plot. So, number one, what is this tally chart telling us about? Kids age. Okay, so what does this first part mean? This first part. Who can give me a sentence to explain what that first part means? Allison. Seven people. I mean, um, five people are seven. Five people are seven. What? Five people are seven years old. Excellent. I want Madison. Come on up and show me how I use that information on a line plot. Do you want to repeat what you said, Allison? Um, five people are seven. Five people are seven. Schools over there. Five people? Where? No, the small one for you guys to see. Five people are seven. So what number are you going to look for? Five people. Whoops. Five people are seven. So what number is Madison going to look for, everybody? Seven. On her number line, what number are we looking for? Seven. Kieran. Um, five. Why do you think it's five? Because there's seven people. Why is it seven? Because that's because that's the age. So this line plot is all about students' ages. Okay, so we're going to find the age, seven. And how many people are seven? Five. 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 So how many X's are we going to, is Madison going to draw? Five. Five. Excellent. Okay, go ahead, Madison. Try to make sure they're the same size. It's going to get a little tricky. Here, I'll finish it up for you. I know. I can't. I don't know where the school is. Four, five. Okay. What does our? Who can give me a sentence for our next part of our tally chart? <laughs> Mikhail, you want to give it a shot? This part right here. Looking right here. Excellent. Seven people are eight years old. Okay, Gavin, fill that out for me. Sorry, I need to pick someone who's nice and tall. So how many X's is he going to draw? Seven. Why? Seven. Nice job. Thank you. Okay. Good. Seven people are eight years old. Okay. Our last part. Janaya, give me a sentence. Nine people. Oh, wait. Four people are nine years old. 
Four people are nine years old. I love how you corrected yourself. Give me a high five. Nice job. Four people are nine years old. Kevin, show me how to do that. Mia, how many X's is she going to draw? Four. Four. Excellent. So what do our X's represent? Allison. Tally marks. What do our X's? Okay. Yeah, there's the same amount of tally charts, tally marks, and X's. Okay, but what do our X's represent? Isabella. Our X's represent people. Our X's represent people. Nice job. What do our tally marks represent then? Mia. What do our tally marks represent? Um, if, our, if, if our X's represent people, what do our tally marks represent? Um, um, how, how, um, how, many people are in Good, our tally marks represent people as well. Nice job. Okay, do we feel better? Give me a thumbs up. Do we feel better about tally marks? Okay, okay. so our next part. What does this mean? Karen, what does it mean? Give me a sentence. What does it mean? What is that information telling me? Three people are seven years old. Three people are seven years old. Excellent. How did you figure that out? What did you look at? The tally and the age. So you use this part to help you figure it out. Nice job. So who can tell me what to do? Allison, tell me what to do. What number are you going to look at for my number one? What number am I trying to find? Seven. Okay. Found seven. Now what do I do? Three X's. Two. Three. Nice job. Okay. Look me down to the next next row. So can give me a sentence. So can give me a sentence. Janaya. Give it a shot. Eight people. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, two people. Eight years old. Two people are eight years old. Excellent. Michaela, tell me what to do. What number am I finding? Put, you're finding eight. Found it. Where? Excellent. One, two. Okay, what's my last part of my tally chart telling me? Gavin, give me a sentence. Four people are nine years old. Excellent. Madison, tell me what to do. Um, um you're going to get to go to the nine. Okay, found the nine. And you're going to be four X's. I forget, but... <gasps> Excellent. Okay, how are we feeling about one plot? Do we know how we can transfer... Our data from a tally chart. Use our information from a tally chart to make a line plot. Yeah. Got it? Okay. Let's go to the next one. You do not talk about it. It's still recording this? Yes. Okay. How do you read line plots? So we talked about this a little bit while we're doing our last our last example. How do I read line plots? What do those X's stand for? Allison. They stand for and whatever the tally is. Are there tally marks on there at all? No. What do those X's stand for? X's. What are they representing those X's? The X's stand for X's. Yeah. Like, Let's make a title for our line plot. 
Because it's hard to talk about if you don't even know what what those numbers are representing, right? Cupcakes. So let me think. Cupcakes. How many? How many cupcakes I eat in one day? Oh, yeah. Okay. So. How many? Wait. How many chocolate cakes do you do then? No cupcakes. Cookies. I love cupcakes. Then get chocolate cupcake. So we could also say two people ate either no cupcakes or three cupcakes. Any other sentence you guys can think of? Kieran. Oh, what'd you do to figure that out? You count all of what? Nice job. I think you guys got a lot of plots.
sometimes you eat dessert a week? One? Janai, how many times a week do you eat dessert? So how many days are in a week? Seven. Seven, so you eat dessert seven times a week. So where am I putting your ass? So you told me you eat seven times. What well, in the seventh place? Did I do it right? Yes. I did? Because this X represents you, and you eat dessert seven times a week. Okay. Allison. Ten. Ten. Wow. 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 Isabella. Ten. Okay. Ten. 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 What do these X's mean? Um, it what does it represent? People. Okay, remember, I said I'm going to give you a hint. Instead of people, the X's represent something else, or those they represent? Uh huh, classes. So, each X represents classes. So now try to give me a sentence. That data. E, e. This part. How can 
I read that? Tell me. Okay. Four. What? Four classes. Nice. Excellent. Four classes have 21 students. Okay. What is this part? Tell me. What does that tell me? Gavin, what does that tell me? This part. Excellent. One class has 22 students. So how many students are in most of the classes? Mia? 21. 21. And how did you figure that out? And don't tell me you looked at the dotted line. I did not. Don't tell me you looked at the dotted line. How did you figure that out? Because four um, classes have 21 students. And it's for the most? Nice job. You are going to open your journals right now, and you're going to make a big plus sign. On, okay, so this is your piece of paper. You're going to draw a big plus sign and divide your paper into four sections. Four sections. Okay, so make a big plus sign. Okay, I see a big plus sign on everybody's paper. Nice job. Okay, so now let's look at this line plot. What is this line plot giving me data about? What is it giving me information about? Kieran. The number of paths. Excellent. So what are these X's? Represent. Yeah. Not cat. What do our X's usually represent? People. So our X's represent people. What does this part tell me? Someone raise their hand. What does this part tell me? Raise your hand. Kibba. Number of heads. Okay, so let's look at this. What does this mean? What does this part of my line plot tell me? You can read that data and analyze it and give me a sentence. Heba. One for zero. One for zero? Heba, if you came out to me, you said one for zero? Okay. Huh? One for zero. One what for zero? What? Hmm. Hmm. But what are we talking about? Okay, so maybe we should include the word had in our sentence. I can't hear Hibba because I hear a lot of mm, mm. Okay, let's, let's think about this Hibba, okay? What does our X represent?
What is our pebble? What is our wine pot talking about? Look at the title. What is our wine pot talking about? Hats. So one person has zero hats. We can't just say one for zero. That means nothing. One for zero. I don't know what you're talking about. One person has zero hats. Okay. We can be specific when we're using talking about data. Okay. Who can give me another sentence talking about this? Okay. Madison. Um, Using any part of the line plot, give okay. me a sentence. have two hats. Okay, now we're going to use our journals. So, in the top, I'm going to draw mine right here. This is my page. In the top left corner, I'm going to write my answer for number one. How many students have two hats? So, I'm going to give you a few seconds to think about it, and then I want you to write your answer right in this square. Okay? I'm looking at people's journals, seeing if they have an answer. How many people have two hats? How many people have two hats? Nice job, Gavin. Let me see, Isabella. Nice job. Oh, I'm waiting for everyone to have an answer. Nice job, Pippa. Nice job, Allison. Okay, so my question is asking me, how many students have two hats? So what am I going to look for? What am I going to look for on my number line? You want me to do that. What number am I going to look for, Mia? Number two. So I'm looking for how many people have two hats. So now I'm going to count my X's. One, two, three, four, five, six. So a big six goes right there. Six people have two hats. Does everyone understand how we got that? Mia, you got it? Okay. How many students have just one hat? Think about it and write it right here. How many students have just one hat? Nice job, Pippa. Gavin, your journal should be open. Finger covered. everybody? Four. four. Okay, number four in our last square. How many students have four than two hats? Ooh, this sounds tricky. This sounds tricky. It's not? Okay, let's see if you guys can do it. How 
many students have more than two hats? How many students have more than two hats? Okay, this one is really tricky. So, it says, how many students have more than two hats? So, what, what's the first thing I need to do, Isabella? First, you have to find the two and then go over one. Why do I have to find the two? Oh, I need three because... But why? Why do I have to find the two?